All right, so here we are again, and this time, there's no box are The other one's outside. A little son of a bitch won't come inside because he loves being outside. So here's the latest project. Check this out. I'm about to smoke me a brisket. Hell yeah. So anyways, here's the key ingredients that I'm going to use. What I did was I rubbed it down with some olive oil. This brisket I got for really reasonable. I think I paid 36 bucks for it, $37, something around that range anyways I'm gonna get ready to throw this thing in there and here's the ingredients I've used I've rubbed it down with my rub that I like to use and um, I've had it in the fridge because I didn't get time to do it yet but I'm getting ready to fire this thing up right now I'm gonna show you how to do that but here's my ingredients I basically use some paprika some uh, that's the wrong thing some pink Himalayan finely ground salt some black pepper some granulated garlic and uh, I've cut out all sugar as much as I can out of my diet just because it's it's fucking crap for you and most of the people I'll run some video series on that that your body is actually running off of glucose which is really bad and you want to switch that shit over from running off of glucose to running off of fats and other stuff so I've been using this monk fruit and it's actually really good it's the golden it's uh, it, it's a good alternative they say one to one but I usually use about uh, three quarters to one. So say for instance, if I was gonna use one cup, I'd use three quarters of a cup if the recipe calls for it, but I don't like to follow recipes anyway. So, hmm, this is a, uh, what the hell is this? It's been used forever and it's really, it's super sweet, but it doesn't, it's not as, like uh, the stevia leaves a bad aftertaste for me, so I don't use that, I use this stuff. And then, of course, I put a little whiskey rub on it, some Buffalo Trace, so it's good to go. So right now, what I got this going on is I got this uh, coming up to room temperature. So that gives me time to fire up. Come on, dog. Gives me time to fire up. I'm going through my place right now. It's a mess. Don't say nothing. Let me get my glasses. So anyway, I'm getting ready to fire up my grill. So bear with me. Let's get my torch. Hot dog. In the middle of too many damn projects right now. Come on, dog. Coming out. You're coming out. Okay, and then here's another little quick tip. I keep my charcoal in a bag just like this. Or, I mean, a bucket. If I got on Home Depot bucket. And then I got to get another one to put my wood chips in because I don't have them in there. And I'm using this stuff. You can use the regular if you want. This is all natural hardwood, royal oak. Sometimes I get it on special. And then I do have separate smokers, but right now I'm just going to use, there's the other one, Boxer. I'm just going to use my regular Weber style round barrel, cheap and expensive uh, charcoal. And then I got my uh, charcoal just spread out in a circle. And then I'm going to get it lit. And then I'm going to leave this center so it'll draw air and bring the smoke up nice. And then I got my wood chips soaking too, so I'll have to show you guys that. But once I get this fired up, I'll show you what I do. I just throw my wood chips on here let this thing get fired while my meat comes up to room temperature and then uh just let it cook it's going to take a while so i got a long day ahead of me of working so anyways this is going to be part one like and subscribe you see the boxers boxers get the chickens roni get the chickens you gonna get the chickens where's the chickens at come on let's get the chickens they love chasing the chickens by the fence it's freaking hilarious all right like and subscribe bye